Yo, what's up? This is Ray from Loud Town. Um, I recently got like a request on my YouTube page to do a tutorial for uh, my settings on Illustrator, and just tips and tricks would be good. Smiley face from Asun Ahmed ninety four. Um, so I guess I'm gonna do that right now. If um, I don't know. To be honest, I don't really use Illustrator all too much. I'm more of a Photoshop person, but I guess you can follow along and if it's helpful, use it. And I mean, if it's not, fuck you. Alright, so. Uh, I have like a bunch of old scans that I don't really use, so I guess I'll just use one of those. Buddy. Yeah, so I got this like. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of lame, but it's like this. This like. Bubble guy in a suit, and he's holding his. I don't know, I don't care, whatever. But yeah, so. I mean, it's, it's a good idea to have like a good quality scan. I just use like the one I have at school and you know like 300 dpi and whatnot. Um, I like like even though it's illustrator and it doesn't really matter how large it is, I like to set it pretty large because I don't know, I just do. I guess it's just easier to work with. Okay, so first thing I do, I lock it on the first layer, and then I usually do this. Here, what I just did was I double click the layer, and then you dim images to 50%, so it's kind of like faded out a little bit. And then I do all my line work on the layer on top, so layer two over here. Um, basically, um, so I, I use like a Wacom tablet, it's, I use the Intros 3. I mean, they have like the Intuos 4 right now, but I'm not gonna upgrade some poor. And as long as you have like a good um, pressure sensitivity, I think mine has like the 1024 levels. I know the new ones have like 2000 whatever, and the bamboos kind of suck dick, so you don't get those unless you want to get like 512 levels of sensitivity, which is like that you so you open up your brushes panel and um, you, go, you click this little arrow with lines icon and open brush library and you go to artistic, calligraphic, calligraphic, and then you should open up this little thingy. Um, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Um, you just click the circle one, I guess. And what you do is you double click the icon, and then it shows the diameter, 15 point this one. And then you set, this is like the most important part, you set random to pressure. If you have a tablet already connected, it should have this setting available. And I set that to pressure, and then open up the variation to, to 15, I guess. Um, 15 is probably too wide. So if I try right now, so if I try right now, it's probably like, yeah, it's kind of wide. So what I do is I set up multiple brushes. Like, so this one I'll probably set to like ten, and so I'll use this for all my like thick line lines and like that. Then I'll set up a new one. set up like two more and do the same thing but I'll make this one like six and make sure to have the variation up to six points and then I'll probably do like a really really small one at like two 
And again, this is just what I do. I don't know what everyone else does because I don't care. But <laughs> like this way, I can have some variation, and then because I like working big to small. So if I'm doing this guy, I would probably do like this head really big, and then go in and be like, yeah, reflections, sweet. And then I, would, I might go in real small and be like, he has little little wrinkles on his face. <laughs> yep, so that's pretty much what I do. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, yeah, basically just I set up small brushes and they all they're all set to the pressure sensitivity and then I just tighten and tighten. And like if it's really needs to be sharp, obviously I'm gonna use the pen tool over using the brush because that's just like you can cut in like that, you know. Way better. Alright, I guess that's it. Cool. Thanks a lot. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Lab10. And you should follow me on Twitter if you're interested in all this kind of jazz. I'm probably going to do more tutorial videos. And if you need help with something, just feel free to um, shoot me a message on YouTube or email me or whatever. And I'll try to do a video. Alright, cool. Bye.